Hi, this is Trey from SoFly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your WordPress data to Dropbox using WP All Export and Zapier. So I'm going to create a new export here. And I'm going to choose users. You can choose export any data you want here. Go ahead and continue. And I'm just going to use a basic information. Over here is where you can drag more data to be included in the export. Continue to step three. And I'm going to give this a friendly name. The user's export. And run the export. The friendly name is kind of important because later in Zapier, if you wanted to set up a filter to only run your Zap whenever this export runs, then you'll use that friendly name to recognize the export. So we're going to go over to Zapier, go ahead and hit make a new Zap. We'll choose WP All Export as our trigger app. Continue. We're going to connect a new account. So we need the URL of our website. And go back over here. And the API key is in settings under all export. Grab that here. Okay, back over to Zapier and continue. Make sure you have at least one recent export created, which we just did. Fetch and continue successful okay now we need to choose our action app which Dropbox is right here so we click that and we want to upload a file I've already connected my Dropbox account but it's super simple to connect you just click this and just give it permission pretty much so we'll continue and where do we want to place the new file well I want to put it in public files there we go now we'll choose the file object which is the file URL in this case <clears throat> we have some other options here we're just going to continue and we're going to skip the test here and continue name your zap series export and turn it on and should be good to go now so we'll go back over here well let's check our files okay no files so we'll go back over here manage exports and go ahead and run that to test it and I'm gonna pause the video while this export runs okay all done now let's go over here and have a look and there it is so we have our export file automatically going to Dropbox now how do we make our export run automatically? Well, If you go back over here to the manage export screen, you'll click cron scheduling on the right of your export. On this page, it'll show you the URLs that you need to set up cron jobs for. We also have some instructions on what the settings should be. So for example, if you wanted this to automatically run the export once per 24 hours, which would then automatically send your file to Dropbox, you would set up this trigger script as a cron job to run one time per 24 hours and you would set up the execution script to run every two minutes. There's more information on cron jobs on our user guide at wpallimport.com. So that's how it all works and that's how you can automatically send your WordPress data to Dropbox using WP All Export and Zapier. Thank you for watching.